Hey, what's going on guys? So moving on now I'm actually gonna be working with the same clip again briefly But just showing you how you can do a very cool thing Which is actually auto tracking a mask now We briefly went over masks earlier when I talked to you guys through actually creating custom Transitions and how we actually went about doing that in the mini exercise and the the, the downloadable clip that I provided you guys But right now I'm gonna be showing you a cool way of how to automate your masks so they just automate animating keyframes and um, try and actually track a set motion. So for example, a cool a, a cool way I'm going to do this is just go ahead and zoom in 100 so I can see my face. Go ahead and just get my hand tool so I can drag up. And I'm actually going to go ahead over to my effect controls and just go ahead and create a round, create ellipse mask. You see this round one right here and it says create ellipse mask. And that's going to create a circle. And now what I can actually do to this is just go ahead and start bringing bringing it down okay oh so I'm actually gonna wanna zoom back out a decent bit and just go ahead and start bringing that down so for example adjusting it so that it actually fits my face and this might be a little weird for you guys for a second until you see what I'm doing and I'm sure you guys can apply this to um, sort of any other scenario that you might be involved in where it would actually suit a purpose so for example I'm gonna make a rough mask of my face right there just go ahead and turn that feather up a little bit to about 50 so that it's kind of blending in go ahead and mess with the expansion a little bit so we can try zoom in on just just getting my face together and there you go so that's a basic mask of my face if we zoom out it's just the little little face of mine right there and Premiere Pro offers a cool thing where on more specific things like for example a face where we can actually just go ahead and set that mask using the uh, create ellipse mask and actually do an interesting thing where we toggle animation here and just go ahead and press play and that will actually track selected mask forward and if we give this a play you'll see this will actually try its best to work out where my face is going and actually track that motion and create loads of keyframes down here for every single frame that it goes to trying to tell the mask where my face is and overall motion track it to follow my face with this little ellipse mask that we've actually created which is a crazy smart thing that this program actually offers the ability to do which is something huge where again this sort of thing is not really usable in every possible scenario like for example um, in our custom transition example it was so different each frame where we had to keep uh, changing it that we couldn't track the path for example you can do it with stuff like this where my face is going to be a rough circle the entire sequence along doesn't matter where it is whereas that custom transition that we put together that was a very tweaky process where we had to keep changing what the leg was looking like because the leg was not a significant shape the entire sequence through whereas my face even though my face isn't a dead-on circle, you know what I mean? It is still, you know, a sphere. It's round, and overall, you can get away with putting a nice ellipse mask right there, and it will do a decently good enough job of following and tracking through all those keyframes, and you can see it actually painting live down here all of those keyframes. And if we actually stop that halfway through, if I zoom in here... It has created individual keyframes, all of those right there, and tracked that position, which would have taken, you know, a, a very long time to do manually. And overall, that is a huge um, t kind of time time saver. And if we go ahead and give this a play, it does a really good job of actually tracking my face. And this is actually quite hilarious. But of course, now it hasn't tracked anything further than that. So then it just goes off on its own. But for this nice piece here, it's done a very good job of tracking my face and isolating that. And, you know, in fact, we could actually save that as an overlay or something where we could just go ahead and throw my face into a random other scene. And overall, that is how you can actually automate your mask to track keyframes. But again, I told you it's only going to work on something that is going to be a set size the uh, the majority of the way through your sequence